Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again. This time, I don't know who to go as. I'm not actually sure. Um, someone said they wanted to see me try and get one of the chicken secret ultras. I think it's this one. Um, I guess. I've already got that one, the, the backwards one. Uh, so let's take a look at what this one is. I'm going to go check what this is now and come back. Okay, this one's very easy. It's literally just hold a fire weapon. I reckon we can do that. I reckon we can hold a fire weapon. Also, starting with a fist here. Not a bad start at all. We can go for more golden weapons here as well. We've got a good old fire weapon, a good old explosive weapon right off the bat here. Mood swing as well. Honestly, we're doing fire potentially, so and explosives that we have right now as well. So I think a fire weapon works pretty well. I love the fact that you can hit enemies through walls with a fist here. Oh my god, there's so many maggots. What the hell's going on here? This is crazy. It's wild. Why is there so many? Uh, we can deal with them. It takes a little bit of doing, but we can deal with them. It's actually quite good for rads as well. The maggots give you a ton of rads. So, not bad at all, to be honest. We've got this bar underneath as well. Is this our slow-mo bar? We'll go with open mind. Yes, that is our slow-mo bar. Good to know. I don't use slow-mo too often on this character, I'll be honest. I probably underutilize, heavily underutilize it, but you're going to have to deal with it because that's just how I roll. Um, 41 damage. Wow, that does a lot of damage. I think hitting him into walls maybe does more. We got you back there as well. Yeah, I think hitting him into walls maybe does even more damage, um, as it seemed there. Uh, I forgot that I lose my grenade launcher when I move to the next area. Uh, we'll take Rage, though. Why not take some Rage? We'll see if we get an explosive weapon on this floor, but I'm not super hopeful about that. I should have uh, been holding the correct weapon. But this this glove here is very, very nice to start this floor. And dude, this is an insane floor right now. Hey, I can hit enemies through walls. I thought I could, but I just, I wanted to confirm it. And the fact that I can is, uh, pretty brilliant. Pretty brilliant. What did I hit then? Did I hit, like, a, well, a bouncer crossbow here? Not that I'm going to keep it, but explosive weapon. We did get a, a, a screwdriver there. Um, so technically we have got what we need to do what we want to do. And I don't really know what I want to go for here. Maybe just go for gamma guts. Wait, heavy screwdriver? Will that work? I don't know if it will. I've, I've lost my my glove. I, I put my glove down by accident. Is it? I, I can never remember. Okay, it is this floor that we're looking for here. Yeah, this does work. Nice. Okay, let's try and do some of the rest of this floor first. I, I, I'm, I'm so lacking the movement speed now, though. Look at this area, man. <laughs> Crazy. A uh, Kraken gun there, and I think I'm going to stick with a bouncer, to be honest. And let's uh, let's go straight through here, because we're going to get quite a lot of golden weapons in here, to be honest. Quite a lot, potentially. This heavy uh, screwdriver might actually be pretty good as a melee weapon as well. I've not... I don't think I've ever used the heavy screwdriver before. I'm pretty sure heavy screwdriver is modded. But it's pretty good. Yeah, the bouncer here, very, very nice. We like it. We love it. We want some more of it. And we're still looking out for a fire weapon to, to have and to hold. I haven't found that yet. Look at all those golden weapons, baby. Golden explosive crossbow. I didn't even know you could get the explosive crossbow as a golden weapon. That's probably one of the better ones you can get. The explosive crossbow, while a bit dangerous, is good. And then on top of that, we've got mood swing working for us too. So this is a pretty good run we got going right now. Pretty good run. We get to keep our crossbow, uh, our screwdriver for now as well, which is rather nice. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That assassin got so damn close then. That assassin got so damn close. But, yeah. What fire weapon would be good? I mean, just getting, like, a heavy flamethrower or something like that. I know it's called, like, the dragon in this game, I think, isn't it? Not heavy flamethrower. But getting something like that would be good. Oh, dude. The... The extra fire damage is really nice here. Um, Splinter Pistol, Cuba Revolver. All pretty good, but I... I nah, do you know what? I'm going to take the Cuba Revolver, actually, even though this is good. Being able to shoot through walls is pretty goddamn good. And the Revolver does some good damage. Um, what have we missed here? Oh, hello. Yeah, look at that. Like, being able to shoot through walls is a pretty goddamn good power in this game. So not to be underutilized at all. I wonder if you can get a Cuba Heavy Revolver. No, that'd be that'd be what we're really looking for here. Um, flexible elbows, I guess. Unfortunately, we are still waiting on a fire weapon. 
Uh, it's kind of crazy we haven't found one yet, actually. I wonder if just applying a fire weapon mod would work. Probably not right, but it'd be good if it did. Okay, some health there. Very, very nice. I've been taking a little bit too much damage here. Considering up the Cuba, I really ought to sort of lean into its power a little more. We're getting so many guns and still just no goddamn fire weapon. <laughs> it's a little annoying with this many weapons to, uh, to choose from. It's still not giving us the one we need. I'm just firing and hoping for the best, and it's actually working out reasonably well. Lovely stuff. Okay, hopefully next stage. We're only level 7 at the minute, so we've got time. Charge flat cannon, I'm not too sure about. I'm not too sure about this either, but I'm going to give it a go. Looks like I was to destroy some shots. Yeah, that works out pretty well, actually. We're doing really well on health as well at the minute. One moment. Nah, okay. Let's keep it moving. Come on, you fire weapon, where are you at? Where is this fire weapon at? Okay, there's a lot of stuff there. One of them's got to be fire. We've got a car thrower there, Gatling slugger, bouncer plasma. Bouncer plasma seems pretty good. Quadruple director shotgun also seems pretty good. We've got some really good weapons here, but just not not exactly what we need right now. This isn't doing as much as I thought it would. I thought Bouncer would make this amazing. Frost Telepather. Isn't Telepather normally like level zero? Uh, I think we're going to take this because our damage is a little weak with this thing. I think being able to stack up damage on it would be pretty nice. It does kind of chunk through ammo as well, this thing, so it's it's this isn't the best. Got a health disperser gun there. The Love Bomber. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. We can fire this a few times and give ourselves some health. Not a lot, but it's something. Love Bomber seems good. I don't really know what its special ability is when comparing it to a regular grenade launcher, but it seems decent. Quite a wide explosion, and it works with mood swing, which is good for me. Let's go through here. It looks like we're actually going to have a hard time getting a fire weapon in time, you know. I didn't think that would be the case, but it's looking more and more like it at the minute. Looking more and more like it. Oh my god. Oh no, I've killed myself. Okay, no, I'm good. Oh, no, no, I'm ungood again. No. Yeah, okay. That was stupid of me. I, uh, I heavily whiffed that. My bad. Hey, we got the explosive crossbow as our starting weapon, though. Very, very nice. I think we've got it on random at the minute, so that's kind of lucky. Maybe it has a affinity for new, newly gained ones. Unfortunately, without... Uh, homing on this early on. It's not the best for taking out some of these smaller enemies, but the grenade launcher, however, just might be. Lovely stuff. Okay. Um, I think we definitely go for that. Screwdriver there, once again, we could probably take that, but we'd have to grab it. I lost my... I keep forgetting I'm losing my gun, and I, I goddamn lost the wrong one. That's annoying. Now I've only got the grenade launcher, which the grenade launcher is actually a little bit better for our situation right now. But I would have rather overall had my explosive golden crossbow. Dude, the maggots right now is insane. I will certainly take it, but it's uh, it's kind of wild. Stop eating all my rads, you. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Club doesn't do too much for us. I guess I'll pop this. Is, well, this is fire, right? See, now, does this count? Technically, in my opinion, it should count, but it probably doesn't, right? It probably doesn't. In my opinion, it maybe should. But this thing seems good. It feels like we've got an accuracy up on a, on a really widespread weapon, but it's actually just this is how it is. And I said, maybe I should be slow mowing more to make things easier on myself, but... You know me, Mr. Never Use My Ability. Oh, this thing's amazing. 
It's a shame I can't just keep this thing forever. Oh my goodness. Okay, I've got to just... Yeah, there you go. I've got to just wail on that guy and hope for the best there. Forget about the explosive shots on that guy literally every single time. Every single time I forget he has explosive shots. Right, where are we at? Where are we at? Level 5. Lovely stuff. Probably want to take Rhino Skin considering my HP is being reduced a little bit. And let's take, uh, let's take Bloodlust this time to try and keep ourselves alive a little easier. Because then it means that if we do lose our head, we can kill stuff for HP as well, rather than just HP drops. Which I think makes a lot of sense right now. Yeah, I'm loving this gun. What, what's this called? The Trop Gun. Don't exactly know what that means, but I like it. But right now, it's, uh, it's, it's getting me through the day. Still no fire weapons. Oh my god, you see there? Absolutely balls it. We're down to 2 HP. I forget how you get your max HP back. Ah, we died again. Yeah, I forget how you get your max HP back as this guy. Let me just go back and uh, switch my golden weapon over to um, to not be random and set it to be the uh, golden explosive crossbow. Thank you. I like that permanently. Just because if I, that means that like, if I get bolt marrow, I can keep this thing for quite a while. And I, I realize people take some sort of offense to me <laughs> never switching out my weapons, but this is a particularly good one, right? You can't, you can't be too mad at me for sticking with this thing. It's, it's pretty amazing. We got another sim uh, seemingly new gun there as well. What's this? Oh, it's this thing. We have, we have had this thing before. This thing's pretty good. Pretty short range, but it, it does some pretty good, goddamn good damage. I quite like it actually. I'm getting a lot of the, the the newer guns here. Look at that. The piercing on it's just great. Anything with piercing is uh is pretty damn good. But if we can get close up to enemies, we're taking that very easily. Also, somewhat can shoot through walls. Obviously, very short range, so that's why I say somewhat. But it can shoot through walls. Can do some good stuff. And we've already seen how valuable that is. Look at that. That's an amazing amount of power for this early on. I think I'm going to keep this, to be honest. I'm really liking this. Did I take a crown? the right crown? I don't even know if I took a crown. Did I? I don't remember. Uh, scary face. I did not take a crown this time around. I guess we are going crownless. I don't know how I managed to do that. Maybe I accidentally turned off uh, crowns for this run. I just didn't select one. Or maybe I just automatically selected none. I just kind of like auto-piloted. I don't really know. Oh, I'm out of ammo. My bad. We do have scarier face as well here. Pizza time. Ooh, very low HP going into pizza time. L need to be a little bit careful. I'll take that. Golden screwdriver? Nah, not when we've not, not got extra chests. I don't think this is worthwhile when we don't have extra chests. Hey, there's some HP, lovely. Ah, oh, there's a HP chest as well there. Exactly what we needed. Beautiful. Back on top. Toxic line here, I actually think is very, very good. I'll take toxic line. Uh, it's a little bit dangerous, but it, it can, like, kill a very, very wide area of enemies. As long as you're uh, a little bit cautious. And enemies like this makes a lot, lot easier. Okay, out of ammo on that bad boy. Oh my god, the fish just move. Oh, dude, amount of ammo and everything. Oh, wait, what? Oh, because it uses... Ex the explosive crossbow uses explosive ammo too, I see. It's kind of wacky. I didn't really think it did that. I was not made aware. Still, though, doing good. Still no fire weapons, though. We're really having a hard time with finding fire weapons at the moment. So now this should be the stage where fire weapons are uh, in abundance, but... Yeah, I didn't really realize I'd taken two weapons that use the same ammo. I thought this was just uh, ball ammo. Which I think is fair to assume, right? Ow. Oh my god, I'm taking some really rough damage here. It's these fire guys. I want to be the one with fire. 
Give me the fire. Give me the fire. The penetrator? I forget how the penetrator works, but it seems pretty good. Oh, okay, I remember now. It's very strong bolt, heavy bolt, and as it passes through enemies, it fires splinters. Pretty good for wide areas. Pretty good for wide areas, and now we're using two different ammo types, which I think is going to be pretty good for us. We have managed to take some damage again, though, which isn't great. We'll take Serene Dream for a little bit of uh, safety here. Bow. Boom, bow. Oh, I'm dead again, dude. Oh, no. I keep not noticing. How do I keep not noticing that I'm dead every time? <laughs> Imagine not noticing that you've died. What a tragedy. Cool. Ooh, micro grenade. I will take that. Micro grenade is actually my pref one of my preferred early game explosive weapons because it's, it's 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 not impossible but it's harder to explode yourself. Cause the explosion radius is quite small and it doesn't like linger. It just instantly detonates, makes it pretty useful. Ammo wise, the not the best for us. Dude, how are you not dead? Wow, two shots, surprising. Um. Open mind again. Rabbit's paw as well, because we're having a little trouble with ammo here. Ooh, the accuracy on this thing, though. Ah, oh, dude. No, 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 no. Slow-mo to get away. There's no way. There's no way. Dude, where's all the ammo? <laughs> Where the hell's the ammo? Okay, let's change weapon again. I actually kind of like the fist, to be honest. The, the, um, the glove. The glove was doing us pretty well. And yeah, how did I manage to turn the crowns off? I don't even know how I managed to do that. It's not my intention. Yeah, I think the glove is probably one of the better ones to be using early on. It is technically counted as explosive ammo as well, which is somewhat surprising. I don't know what else I would have classed it as, to be honest, though, so it kind of makes sense. It's a bit of a weird one, really, isn't it? Like, how the hell do you classify it? I'm still going to take that, though. But yeah, just the fact that this has such, like, great AoE, and it's kind of defensive as well, because you can shoot through shots that are coming at you, makes it very, very powerful for staying alive. Um, don't think the Rambot's too good for us. I think I think Bloodlust is always going to be the right pick when, when it comes up. Just for that, like I said, saving ourselves when we're headless. Not a guarantee that it'll happen, but it's a much higher chance than not having it, right? Much higher chance. Boom, bow. Okay, okay. How are we doing now then? Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff right there. I'm so glad the poison disperses a lot quicker in this uh, this mod. In vanilla, it lasts for ages. It just lingers and lingers and lingers. Apparently I missed a guy over here. I do like the fact that this thing has some really good traversal options as well. For just moving around. As a weapon, like I, I like that a lot. Uh, impact risks could be fun with this weapon, I guess. Yes. <laughs> okay, I did just blow myself up via a car, which... Not my intention. I kind of thought I'd pass through the car as it exploded. But I just kind of hovered on top of it and did, just died. Good. Still haven't seen a fire weapon though. Oh, you're, you're alive. I didn't see you there. Yeah, still haven't seen a fire weapon though. Just feel like I normally see them all the time, so it's a little surprising. But this might be the one. It does seem that Mood Swing is working on occasion for us with this fist, even though it's not producing explosions. Or maybe that's just because I'm sometimes exploding enemies. It might be that. Thinking about it now. Right, snake gun, spiral slasher shotgun, explosive revolver, splinter pistol. Yeah, it's all not right. This this thing's this thing's doing me too well right now to put down. It's doing me too well. Okay, good. Just two enemies over there. 
So many cars. Oh my god. I love this. I don't even know how I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going to have to uh, pick up another weapon, I think. Ooh, this thing with an accuracy up would be very good. Get out of the way with my, my glove there. <laughs> Absorbing pause, I don't use that much anymore, but still pretty good. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of surprised I'm alive after all that. Sticky launcher. Where's my fire? It's a blood pistol. I do like the sort of back and forth with this thing as well, where you kind of strike back, strike forth. It's nice. It feels very satisfying to use as a frost weapon. But still, the fire weapons, they elude me. They elude me. Um, tough shell's probably a good idea here. Laser cannon. Apparently laser cannon, you can deal damage with the tip, which I didn't know. Which seems very useful to know about. It seems alright. It's not the best weapon in the world. It's decent. The fist is definitely my favourite weapon right now. Although I think it's going to heavily fall off here. But you see what I mean? How I can just kind of like dash and dive between the... Um, between the enemies with it. Both electric and um, tentacles stun. So, seems like a really good weapon to have both of those things at once. Yeah, I gotta say, this weapon's doing a really good job of, like, stunning. Because both of those things with mood swings stun at the same time. Which is making it pretty damn strong for us right now. But, yeah, I gotta say, the fist we kind of need to switch out. But, we're level 8 already, so we've got two levels now. I don't know if the tail end's gonna do much for us here, but... You see the way I slipped that car, then? I didn't know I could do that. Um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get a fire weapon in time, but we'll see. Radiation generator. Oh, dude, this is just rads. That's potentially interesting. Obviously, ammo-wise, you're not getting a lot for it. Ion teleporter. There's a lot here, but not what we need. It's kind of crazy that there's just no fire weapons that exist for us right now. We're so close to leveling as well. I got Kraken on this thing though, I like that. Oh, there's a little hunter, hello. Oh, I lost my other weapon because it got uncursed. Damn it. It's not what I intended at all. I like having a cursed weapon when we've got this uh, crown on. It's useful. good? We are good? No, there's one guy here. Okay. Adrenaline fuel is helping us quite a lot right now, too. This is where this, this, this weapon falls apart, I think. Yeah. Immediately proven to fall apart. Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. I need that health really badly. Yeah, this weapon doesn't work in this scenario, because these weapon these enemies do a lot of contact damage. Oh my god, I've lost my head again. Okay, this might be the end. Yep, it is. I'm going to leave it there. It's a decent episode. Uh, we didn't really get what we wanted to, but we weren't finding fire weapons anyways. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.